Oh, this Fiddler Nakamura game. Yeah. Um, Hikaru gave a nice interview about it. Okay, we're gonna accept random. Random sub playing Annex Abyss. World of Warships. Oh. Do I play a Stafford? Will this be the most relaxing Stafford Gambit of our time? Opponents for vision? Oh, opponents. Okay, decent player. Okay, no Stafford Gambit. We're going to have a... Oh. Oh, opponents Jeroming me. It's like a premature Jerome. Oh, we transposed into Jerome. What is this? What? Oh no, it was three checks. It was three checks. What? I got I got debated tricked. Why? The queen was hanging. Ah. I feel so broken. I was wondering why White was playing so dubiously. That was three checks. I didn't. I. I just assumed it was normal chess. I'm so broken. That was my first. Is that my first loss of stream? I think that is. My rating. Oh, that good thing that was unrated. I could have lost a lot of rating points. Do I just sit and cry on the virtual beach? What did I do wrong? Re oh, rem oh, let's get revenge. Now now that I know it's three check, time for revenge. We're gonna show how to not lose in six moves. Revenge time. Well, unless opponent just wants to keep their perfect score. Oh, wait, we played once before. I guess the one time we played before was not in three check. Okay. Time for revenge. So for those who don't know, three check is a variant where you win the game if you get three checks at any point and they're cumulative. And I think the, the strategy is not to get checked. So we have a French. So if black black's not gonna do this, but if if this were played, I would check and then take again and check. Okay, we're gonna do this move. I think the tea is the tea's been brewing for long enough. Hopefully. Did I mispronounce cum cumul cumulative? Cum I've it's too difficult. Okay, let's play. What to play? I just want some sweet, sweet revenge. Play this move. What is the brewing time? Brewing time. Oh, not recommended for use if you're pregnant or nursing or have high blood pressure. Okay, good thing that doesn't apply to me. Okay. Okay. We're being calm. Do I have a favorite album? Do people even do albums these days? Albums used to be like physical objects, but now they're just virtual. Oh, licorice root can give you headaches. 
It's actually good to know. I don't drink this every day. It's just my tea of choice for tonight. It is nice and sweet and soothing. Actually, I I grew up uh, enjoying this Don McLean. I think the album was called American Pie, but it had some good good soundtracks. Did you write the Book of Love? Oh, I don't I don't really write books. But I was, I don't, have I told this story? I told this story on um, on Fiona's talk show for Chess 24. But I, I was actually featured in a romance novel a few years ago. So I was in a book that talked about love. Wow, it's Lion hey, X. This is my first time watching you, but me and my wife love watching your YouTube. Oh, shout out to you and your wife. Before going to bed, I've really gotten <laughs> back into chess because of your vids. So, oh, that's nice to hear. Thanks a lot, and please keep posting, and we'll try and watch more live streams. Thanks so much for that. I hope I didn't disturb you earlier with the loud sounds. Thank you, Lion X. Appreciate the kind words. So, uh, story time. When was this? Hey, two years ago? Two or three years ago. Um, a, a sort of distant relative or aunt picked up a book from a library. And in the intro, like in the, not even what you call it before the, the actual story starts, the dedication page. The the author mentioned my name and said it said something like I, I owe a huge debt of gratitude to Eric Rosen. And it was a romance novel. Let's take a pawn. Such a nice move. And of course my relative like got in touch with my parents and told like pass this on. And, oh, it's Chak. Oh, it's Chak. Um, and I, I had completely forgotten, but back in 2013, an author contacted me. It's like New York Times bestselling author, Chak. And she was writing like a love story about a chess player who attended the University of Illinois. And some, somehow she found me online. Like I was attending University of Illinois at the time. And she interviewed me and like got a sense of like what the chess world is like. Ah, my queen. Ah. And then um, after a few years, a few years, she turned it into a book. Good game. Ha ha. Yeah, there's no stopping the check. All you need is three checks. Doesn't matter the material situation. Um, so anyway, uh, the book, the book ended up being a, a New York Times bestseller, I guess in the romance category. It's called, it's, it's not really kid friendly, but it's called the, um, the girl he used to know. Good games. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, good games. Oxygen Gambit. I got my sweet, sweet revenge. Oh, so I um, no, so the author is Tracy Garvis Graves, and I just googled it. Uh, so we can see the the thing here. Um, let me see if I can find it. But there is, there is a character in the book named Eric. Yeah, Mesopotamia. Uh, let me see if I can find this. Oh, I guess this is proof. 
Maybe I have told this before. Maybe this prompted the question. I was not a ghostwriter. I was just kind of like a consultant. Uh, I was just asked like what the the chess club scene was like. Um, Galakomsky is randomly mentioned in the book too. But uh, there was some, like when I watched Queen's Gambit, there was some interesting crossover between um, like the vibe of Queen's Gambit and the vibe of this book. Uh, let me see if I can actually find the dedication page. Oh, here it is. Oh, I found it. Okay. Uh, it might be hard to show. Okay. I don't know how Google does this, but this is... Um, this is like kind of the, the pre-intro to the book. Um, yeah, it mentions some like true stories. But yeah, here it was. It's on Audible too. But it was, it was crazy that like I kind of, I had this conversation with, with an author and then several years later, uh, it, it actually turned into a book. I was not asked to narrate the book. Anyway, that's my story. Thanks for the game again. <laughs> Three check game. Anyway, if this goes on YouTube, thanks YouTube people for watching. This will be a really weird YouTube video. Like I got jabated and then I got revenge. And then I told the story of how I was featured in a romance novel. All while listening to soothing, calm, copyright free music. I'll leave links in the video description. Also, Twitch chat. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi. We have blank canvas Twitch chat. Good title. Do you accept this Rosen? Good title. Wait, what's the title? I don't know if I understand, but I guess it's good if it mentions the word good. Hi, not a GM. How's it going? Yeah, say hi. Twitch chat has been so friendly today, so positive, so generous. Hi, mom, I'm on YouTube. Oh, hi, mom. And hi, son or daughter and maybe cousin. And say hi to, oh, Tagi was there, Tagi somewhere. YouTube comments, you know what to do. You can just choose a random person to say hi to. But when in doubt, say hi to Tagi and a payphone. Z, 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 Z. Z.